Good morning. It is embarkation day and we are at the cruise terminal. We just parked our car and uh, we are getting on the boat. So we are walking up to the shuttle. We might have to wait for another one to come in, I'm sure, but uh, here we're supposed to be here between 11 and 11.30. We are early. We got our stuff dropped off and uh, came back around to the parking lot and now we're gonna wait for a shuttle. So let's check this out. This is the Pier 14 lot. That was the quickest that uh, we've ever gotten through this kind of security. It's great. So super stoked and uh, we're excited. Getting on the boat. We'll be still more. Morning, guys. Welcome aboard. Thanks. Well, we checked in and we are getting ready to go get some food. And I'm going to turn around and show you this uh, this atrium that we're in. So there's a Starbucks right here and restaurants. And there's Anne hanging out. And, and they've got the balloons ready for the balloon drop. So super cool in here. All right, so we just got into our room and show a little bit of the room. Uh, over here is the restroom. And I think these lights turn on the bathroom. There we go. And so it's small, you step up. Let's get a toilet and a shower. And everything you need. And then coming out here, we have our bed. And we have a little couch. I think that's a like a hideaway bed as well here. And a TV. And then Angela already found the best room in the house. Our best seat in the house, rather. Hey, baby. What do you think? Oh, it's nice to have an ocean view. Yeah. So we, it's cool. Yeah. We got this little table and chairs, which is nice. And this is the view of Galveston Harbor. It's a working harbor, a working port. So uh, they got a lot of oil derricks and big cargo ships that come through here. But... Uh, this takes you out into the Gulf. Well, I guess the carnival boat is sailing away before us. They've got a water slide on theirs. All right, so we're at dinner tonight. Happy anniversary, Angela. Yeah, we just did our normal t-shirts tonight. Yeah, we, we didn't change. So the menu tonight for dinner, for starters, I think I'm gonna go with the the S cargo, which is delicious. And then for a main dish, I might do, I might do the prime rib. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do the prime rib. And then we'll figure out what Angie's gonna have as well. Um, you can get lobster tail or filet mignon or surf and turf, but that's extra. That they charge you $16.99, $19.99, $34.99 if you decide to do that. But otherwise, everything above the premium selections is all part of the meal and it's all for free. So, and you can get a couple of them if you want. If you want a couple prime ribs, you can get a couple of them. If you want a shrimp cocktail and escargot, ooh, that does sound good. I might do that. 
might just do that. Then you can do that. I do like escargot. You don't get that really That's true. So, uh, we're gonna order and then uh, and then we'll come back and show you what we get. All right. So Angela has a crab cake. Doesn't that look good? Yeah, next I've got escargot, and those are the little snails right there. Those little guys. I'm gonna eat those snails. Oh, I love them. They're delicious. The little escargots. The little speedy guys that got caught. Mm, that's a snail. I'm going to eat it. Mm, so good. Mm. Alright, Aaron. Cut them to yours. Your crab cake. Thumbs up. Awesome. So Angela got brave and she tried one of my snails. So she's escargot, sorry. So she's got it right there and she's gonna try it. There she goes. What do you think? Slimy yet satisfying? No. Not slimy. Tastes like a mushroom, huh? Yeah, it's got cheese on it. Yeah, it's got like a yeah. like a Parmesan buttery cheese. No. While Angela's finishing her crab cake over there, I've got uh, my shrimp cocktail, which is just four shrimp. Isn't it? Uh, well, one of them I already ate, but just four little shrimp. And uh, pretty good. Pretty tasty, at least. Mm, I love shrimp cocktail. All right, so this is the prime rib that I ordered. And this is the fish that Ange ordered. That looks good, dude. You're gonna have some of that. Yeah, we're gonna try it. So, how was your fish? It was kind of bland. Yeah, I tasted it too, and it's just a plain white fish. It's not, it's real flaky, but it didn't have a lot of seasoning or anything yeah. to it. it. Really didn't taste good. And then she took half of my prime rib. And that's but, really tasty. Yeah, I got an end cut, so that's, I, I really like end cuts. It's got a lot of flavor on that end. And they brought it to me, and it is very, very, very good. Mm -hmm. So she even ordered some more uh, au jus. Yeah. And, uh, because she likes sauces and stuff, so. <laughs> so she's finishing that up, but overall, I think she liked it. We are out past the coast. Um, you can see it, but oh yeah, you can. There's a little pleasure island out there with all the uh, rides. That's that pier, pleasure pier. Pleasure pier is what it's called. And you can see the beach with all the people out there. And uh, a pilot ship. And it's pretty close to letting us free. So she found it, the Starbucks, here on the boat. So let's go find out what she ordered. <laughs> what did you order, Angela? I got the brown sugar um, shaken. Shaken espresso with oat milk and cold milk. <laughs> and the, the white espresso? Blonde espresso yeah. with cold foam. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot of a lot of ingredients on that one. Brown sugar shaken espresso with, and that automatically comes with blonde rose. I didn't need to specify that. Okay. But then I added cold foam. And oat milk. The oat milk already comes with that. Oh, it does. Oh, it does. So how much was this? Okay, so here they include two 
So, so they include a gratuity mm -hmm. of how much? 18%. Automatic. And then they also have a, a screen that pops up that says what? If you want to add another to it. So how much does this cost? Ten thirty-six. Is at least three dollars more than at home, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, I hope it's good. <laughs> if not, I'm gonna have them doctor it up right okay. now. Pretty good, but I need a straw. Oh. I don't know. We'll find one. So there's the Starbucks kiosk, and this is where we came in earlier and we had to go check in over here for our muster station. And uh, I kind of hit this briefly, but this is kind of like the city walk area. And above us, there's a, uh, like a garden right above us. And we'll go check that out in a little bit, but it's, uh, um, they call that Central Park. And you can walk around there. But down in here, there's a couple restaurants. There's like the pizza place that's open, you know, till midnight or whatever. And then all of their shopping, instead of it being tucked away like on a normal cruise line, it's all in here with different kiosks and stuff. So you got like the, the watches and the, and the uh, beach towels and the, you know, the duty-free stuff over there, the cigarettes and the alcohol and the purses and the jewelry shop. It's all right here. The art gallery is right here. Everything is here in the central area, which is kind of more open, um, which is kind of nice. And it's a nice place to kind of hang out and sit and enjoy your coffee drink. If you got an overpriced Starbucks um, or whatever, and uh, you can just hang out here and people watch or whatever, but there's also the boardwalk, which is up there. Let's see if I can zoom in. And you can see it a little bit. I've got a, my ice cream cup in my hand. And that's where the carousel is. And uh, and then uh, also there's the, the part above us as well, which is the uh, Central Park area. So we're gonna go check out all that. So they've got this old Mercedes in here that you can take pictures with and they've got a live band performing above us well we found our first rubber duckies our cruising ducks right here on the back of the, of the Mercedes so the little duck we got was a little mariachi trumpet player duck with a little mustache. I like him. And he's got a really nice card that somebody made up. And it says, oh, it's from the Grange family from Katy, Texas. And so you share a photo of it and kind of tell them who uh, found it and uh, they get a kick out of that. So like this little guy, he's cute. He's <laughs> cool. All right, we are headed into the boardwalk area. This is neat. They show how these, these carousel horses are carved out of a piece of wood. How they draw it and they cut them and shape them. And they're in various forms of completion. And then they paint them. And then they complete them and put them on the carousel, which the kids get to ride. So along with that, they've got a Johnny Rockets and a bunch of different sweets places. There's a hot dog place right here that's included. Um, Johnny Rockets is not, but there's a arcade right here and you can get a room that overlooks, that has a balcony that comes inside here and overlooks this, as well as back over in Central Park where we're going to after this. We're on the other side of the Ferris wheel. Carousel, I keep messing up, carousel. 
and you can really see how many levels of rooms look over this area. Up there, that's the Windjammer, that's the buffet, which we'll show some video of in the next couple of days. But then behind that, there's one, two, three, four, five, six levels of what would be interior rooms that are just opposite the, uh, the rooms that uh, have balconies out to the ocean that point inward and get to kind of overlook all of this and you get to people watch. So if I spin you around, there's a rock climbing wall there. And another rock climbing wall there. Those are tall. Those are really tall. <laughs> and then behind me is this amphitheater. This is the tail end of the boat and they're showing movies right now. But this is where they do the high diving. So that's a pool down there that opens up and they climb up on the top and they dive down into the water and they do a show. Um, and I think we see that in a couple days, Wednesday or Thursday. But this is the back of the boat and these are all suites, I think right here that have really big uh, patios or balconies to, to look out the back. But uh, this boat is huge, massive, massive boat. So this is the Central Park, and this is, we're right on top of where Angela got her Starbucks. And it is a full-blown, like, garden and park area. And this is where all of the fancy restaurants are. The, the top dollar ones. So like Chops Grill is a expensive one. And I don't know what this one is over here. 150 Central Park. That's another one. This is the Rising Tides Bar. And you could tell it's lifting. And it rises up from down there and it comes up and that's the ride. And so people come in and get a drink and they take a ride either up or down. And if you get it on or off of it, Ange wants me to come look at the menu. What do you see? Well, they have that pumpkin base. That looks good. Yeah. They have a cauliflower steak. Yeah, yeah. they have duck, lobster thermidor, artisanal cheeses. <laughs> yeah, this is fancy. This is one of those, like, you pay $35 per person to come in yeah. kind of place. But again, you've got all kinds of balconies that look into the Central Park area as well. So that's an option for these interior rooms. I don't think there's as many interior rooms. I don't know if there's any interior rooms because they've got all these that kind of look into these, these areas here, which is kind of nice, kind of breaks it up. They've got Beatles music playing, mariachi style, which is fun, so. So that music I heard was an actual live band playing. Beatles songs. Theater. This is where we're going to go see Mamma Mia. And uh, back here, well, here is the casino, which is really small. And I don't know if there's another one. Maybe we'll go find something, see if it's any better. They've got like popcorn here and drinks that you can buy, which Angela is very excited about. There's a comedy club. There's Studio B, which is another performance club. There's all kinds of little, little hole in the wall places. There's like a dueling piano bar somewhere around here. There's all kinds of stuff to do. So, so Angela found the other side of the casino. I guess that was the non-smoking side, which was really small. 
And then the, the bigger side is over here, but you have to go through all of the art offerings that they have. All right, that's much better. Much bigger, lots of machines in here. Very cool. Huge, huge casino. And everything's out of service until uh, we get further out to sea. But this is pretty cool. Everyone's just kind of waiting until I think 7.30 when we can, when uh, we get far enough out that everything opens up. This is the theater where we're gonna watch Mamma Mia. There's a second floor up on top over there. All right, so we are back at the room, sitting outside on our balcony and uh, um, finished with Mamma Mia. We only made it to intermission. It was um, it was good, the story was good, but the, the quality of the performance wasn't fantastic. The, the sound went in and out, different microphones weren't being used right. Um, it was, it was just, it was a little rough. So we decided to break away and, you know, maybe watch the movie instead of the performance. We stopped by and got some pizza. So uh, they have a pizza place that's open till like two o'clock in the morning and it's complimentary. You can go grab pizza whenever you want. So Ange has got some, I've got some. We're just hanging out here on the balcony, enjoying the, the ocean breeze and I uh, can have a, a little snack, a little almost 10 o'clock snack and call this one a day. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna get up early and go to breakfast. Well, early, like eight o'clock and go to breakfast. And, uh, and then it's a sea day, so we'll see what's going on around the boat. Get it? See what's going on around the boat. Uh, it's punny. All right, uh, but we're gonna call it quits here tonight and uh, see you tomorrow. Bye.